Okay, so Swell Aquatics delivered this this morning. Uh, 53 US gallons, obviously they always say US because it's a bigger number than Imperial. Uh, 200 litre, this is going to be for the turtles. Look at the uh, radio controlled lights, LED, which is basically Aqua Sky. So we're going to have a quick look at that and see where we come up with. Very heavy, so I'm going to take this out and we're going to have another look in a minute. Okay, things to look out for. These doors, the hinges, you have one which is soft close and one which isn't. So make sure you put one on each door. Um, as you can see, they work. Now, this is the other problem. The little feet that come with it, put them on the bottom, not on the top like I have, because listen, it doesn't touch. And at the moment, these need adjusting, but even so. So I'm gonna sort of adjust them up a little bit. Okay, cabinet's quite nice. Um, this was actually a bit of a pain, to be honest. Um, I did have a lot of trouble with that. Um, and I can see if you put a lot of weight in the bottom of this cabinet, okay, that's gonna fall out. Now, I wanted to show you a reference point. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and get my uh, All Pond Solutions 1400. And I'm just gonna put it in there just to show you, okay? I'm gonna go around the cabinet. It took an hour. Um, it says use two people. You only really need one to be fair. It's quite straightforward, but get everything prepped first If you look at the instructions they are quite bare, but if you set everything up, they're good as gold There's a little hole for electrics and the tubes Okay, so there's the apron. We're gonna just gonna take it around the front see if it fits Damn, okay. Well, it fits in the Roma 240 uh, cabinet that one there it just no way i'm not sure why they put a shelf in there it, it, shelves really aren't required you know if you're going to do that just have a, one shelf here from there to there that's what i would do um it doesn't fit however the 307 and the 407 and the fx4 do fit so i'm probably gonna cut a little bit of a notch out because it's only the, the real back of the bit here where the pipes go on it's a bit of a shame but don't forget this 200 series comes with one of them um, which should be adequate for what I want it for anyway don't forget the turtles are going in there so I am going to get a a new filter from anyway haven't decided which yet so I'll get the dimensions of this and obviously want something that we're sure I'm thinking 407 um, or FX4 but that's so far so good. So the next step is going to be to get the tank in place. So as with all my tanks, I'm going to paint the background. So we've turned it around. I've noticed a couple of things. This is not going to be a very big cutout. So we may have to modify the lid uh, to compensate for a rather large um, filter. The second thing is that I really like about this. If you look at the 200 and the 240 together, let me come back they're exactly the same height so you could actually push these together and it'll look very very nice uh, I believe this is across the range um, and the cabinet is exactly the same height it's just well not as long this is a I believe 100 centimeters this is 120 centimeters so it looks quite good so I'm going to paint the background um, I'm using standard acrylic paint which is going to be a combination of this, which I believe um, is going to come out like that. Let me have a look like that. And I'm going to do a bit of blue and a bit of black in between um, just to give it a bit of depth. So let's see how that gets on. So, as you can see, that's the first coat done. Um, it's going to look okay. I might go over with a, a blue, blue colour. I might leave it as a green, I quite I think that's quite effective. Let's look from inside. Yeah, I think it needs another coat, maybe another two. But it's looking okay. 